per pavilion that uh, you know at home whenever we have tried to push a large almira right it's a big almira on the ground and uh, we have we, it's a big almira and you know when we are asked to push that we have uh, most of us have experienced it like uh, if you push it by applying force here okay it gets pushed no issues it is getting pushed okay now the most important thing is uh, if the center of mass of this is here and uh, as long as you are applying the force below the center of mass and pushing it yes sir then it gets pushed okay so the displacement it should not be very close to the center and uh, otherwise we have to apply a lot of force why So like uh, when we are pushing the almira, sir, hmm. if we push it toda upper near the center of mass, hmm. we will have to, मतलब बहुत force लगा के तक का मारना पड़ता है। क्यों? 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 बैठ के बैठ के push करो ना, देखो क्या होता है? क्यों? ऐसा क्यों होता है? Why? Why should it be easy? Uh, why you have to apply more force if you come near the center? Sir, the perpendicular distance is decreasing. So why should that uh, force become more? Whether you push it here or here or here, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Usn, UK, UPSM. Why should it be different? If you push here, you can push it easy here, easier here, easier. It, it should not matter. In what way it is going to matter? Tell me the physics behind it. Nothing like that. Today you push properly and see. Okay, it it doesn't matter. Huh? Wherever you push, it gets pushed. That doesn't matter. Yes. But what matters is if you apply the force here or somewhere on top. Okay. That is when you are applying force between this point to this point, then you have to be a bit careful. Yes. Okay. You have to be careful because often you see when you apply force say at this point, there is a possibility that this will topple. There's a possibility that it will top. Yes. Okay. There is. That's a common thing. But as long as you are applying force below this, then there is no question of that happening. Okay. That is something which is. Huh. Now, can somebody explain why there is a possibility that this will topple if you apply force here? So there is a. Wait. 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 Who else would like to explain? Come on, there is physics here. Nothing, nothing here. You have to just look at the forces, and then you should start explaining. That's all. See, what are the forces acting? You just for, see. As soon as you get this problem like this, no, don't start becoming intelligent, man. Don't start showing I'm brilliant and all. Nothing. You simply start writing the forces. Right. See, this is Almira. So you first write. This is one force acting, and this is the second force that is acting. M into G. Okay. And you are pushing, uh, you are applying the uh, force at this point. <clears throat> so this is another force, mg bar acting down here. Okay. And uh, as a consequence, what else force will be acting? Friction. Friction force also. Friction. Assuming that this will move in this direction. Okay. Then you will have friction force acting in this direction. Yes. Okay. Yes. Friction force acting in this direction. Okay, so these are all the different forces that are acting on the body. Normal reaction on the ground. Ah, normal reaction from the ground is also acting. So normal reaction from the ground is also acting. M G is acting. All these forces are acting. Yes. Okay. So now it's obvious that you know under no circumstances you will have acceleration around this. Yes. So therefore you can directly say M G is equal to yes. Yes. <coughs> so now whatever it is if you say displacement occurs that means this force yeah okay must be if, if the almira assuming that it just starts moving if the almira just starts moving then yeah must be yeah must be if it just starts moving yeah must be equal to mu into m g yes sir If it just starts moving, just starts moving, yes, sir. 
Okay. Huh. If it is, if it starts moving, that is, if it just starts moving, you will write here mu s m g. But if it starts moving, then you will apply the equation mu k m g. And then it starts moving. Da, 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 da. Yes, sir. Then it yes, sir. becomes mu k m g. Yes. I hope you got it. Yes. Not like f minus mu k. Ah, g good, boy. Like good boy. Good boy. Good boy. One boy is alert. So then you will write the equation f minus mu k into m g divided by m k. So this will be the acceleration of the body. See that? I am not writing the vector form. It is like this. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh. Now the question is. Now the question is. Hmm? F is less than mu m g, mu s m g. F is less than mu s m g. Okay, then what happens? It doesn't translate. It doesn't translate. It doesn't translate. But what else can happen? It can happen. It can topple. It can, it can, so it can, now what can happen is, now you see, now that you know we are all, uh, quite advanced. So, effect of force, now we will have to see. One is translation, yes, then immediately you should look at the rotation. rotation. So, and for rotation, then you should look at the torque. torque yes, you should look at the torque. Yes, yes the body. Isn't it? Okay. So, uh, now which point will you take and calculate the uh, 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 torque of the body? The right most uh, extreme point. Why will okay. you take the right most active point? Because, uh, so because it will come by axial if the body were to start rotating. Huh. So if at all it starts rotating, it, uh, it starts rotating, the first thing that happens is that this point, the first thing that happens is that the first thing that will happen here is that this almira will now get lifted. Yes. Okay. So therefore, the uh, we are, the yen will shift from here to here. Yen will shift from here to here. Got it? So therefore, now we can write the uh, diagram of the almira to be like this. I am exaggerating it. I am exaggerating it. So this is f, and this is the yen that is going to happen. And of course, mg is acting down. Okay, and friction is also acting in this direction. These vectors will change its orientation like this. Yes. Okay, these vectors will change the orientations like this. Take it. Huh. Okay, now uh, when, I, when I say that, uh, you know, you, you have applied, you went on increasing the force F, you went on increasing the force F, and at a particular value of F, you found that the uh, the almira instead of moving further, it just lifted it up like this. Yes, At a particular area, it yes. just lifted up like this. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Huh. Now, at this point, at this point, it is just lifted up. Okay, if you withdraw the force, what will happen? It will continue to move the opposite axis. See, you are answering. You are applying force, you are applying force and just it started moving up. It started just moving up. At that point, you stopped applying force. You remove your hand. Then what will happen to the Almira? It depends. Depends on position of series. See, that's what I mean. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Once again, huh? once again, everybody. Huh? The Almira is like this. I am applying force. F1, nothing is happening. F2, nothing is happening. F3, nothing is happening. F4, I apply, then it just is, this will just lift from the ground. Just lift, yes. Just lift from the ground. At that point, if I leave my hand, what will happen? Ah, see, uh, um, uh, oh, hmm? see, the, I am applying this force at this point. This is the center of mass. This is the center of mass. Huh? So it will again fall back in the same position. Same position. Yes. yes. Precisely that is what is going to happen. Correct now? You just lift yes. it, you leave your hand, it will come back. 
in yes. this direction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, first of all, tell me when you applied force like this, this happened. And when you removed your hand, once again the almira came back to its original position. Yes, sir. Yes. So explain the physics behind both these things. So there is a torque split due to energy about the uh, edge thing. That will cause the molecular refraction. See, there are many forces, man, but you are only talking about the torque due to F. Because no, no, only only M, uh, torque due to only mg. First of all, why did it lift? That you tell. And then the next part. Ah, yes. It lifted because uh, there was a torque due to the property formed by F and uh, friction cell. That provided the. Cell no, no, your the... answer is not right. No. You have understood it, but uh, you know, while reporting, you have to report correctly. Why did it lift? Correct, what you are telling, but you should tell it properly. Otherwise, there will be confusion. Sir, about the ICR, sir, the torque. About the? ICR, sir. Where is that ICR? About the point where the normal is acting. You should tell. Yes, sir. See, you tell properly. Sir, consider the point where the normal is acting. Yes, sir. That is. Take the moment of forces about that point. Yes, sir. That is how you should tell. Take the moment about this point. Yes, sir. So, if you take the moment about this point, the moment due to N and moment due to F is 0. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. Now, the moment due to force F. Greater. Okay, the moment due to force here. Supposing uh, this perpendicular distance is say y. Uh, yes, so f into y. y yes. Okay, will give the torque in this direction. This direction. Moment in this, this direction. direction. Okay, yes. and due to mg. It is in the opposite. Due to mg. It yes. will be in opposite direction. Opposite direction. Isn't it? So mg into this distance. X. X. Yes. Is it in the opposite? Opposite direction. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Uh, now you see when you are just holding when you are just holding it like this yes, sir. it has just lifted yes, sir. but it is still in equilibrium yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Ah. hello it is still in equilibrium hello yes sir ah. so therefore i can say this is equal to zero at that position okay sir. okay and of course uh, n is equal to n is equal to mg and f is equal to yes sir yes sir so, summation F5, summation this is satisfied. So, it is still in the place of equilibrium. It has just lifted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, now, when you remove your hand. Yes, sir. The torque, the moment of force due to F will be 0. Huh. And so, this becomes 0. So, there this vanishes. The torque this vanishes. Yes, and this will be there. Yes. But then, this one will act like what? Restoring yes, torque. Restoring torque. Restoring torque. Yes. So, therefore, the Almira will be restored to its yes. original yes. position. Yes, sir. This is how this will happen. Yes, sir. Clear, friends? Yes, yes sir. Hello, is it clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Huh. Okay, now let me continue with this discussion. I will ask you some more questions on this. Okay. Okay. So now. Uh, so, therefore, now I, I applied force and just it lifted, then I left my hand, it came back. Yes. Right? Huh. Now, uh, understand this very carefully. Now, there will be a position of this, say something like this, okay, where F is being applied, and of course, N is in the upper direction, N is up, and M is acting down, okay, N is acting up. And now, uh, <coughs> uh, well, uh, okay, wait. I want to ask you the question. Now I got, I just applied force and I left my hand. It came back. Now I go on applying force. Yes, sir. Gently, I go on increasing the force. Yes, sir. So there will be a point where, if I remove a hand, yes, sir. it will pass in the next. If I remove my hand, yes, sir. Huh? now Aram said, if I remove my hand, yes, sir. okay, the Alvira is in a tilted position. Ah, sir. And if I remove my hand very gently, it will continue to stay in the tilted position. Is it possible? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Is it possible? Yes, 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 sir. Hey, Dara Kaya, Hey, Dara Kaya, See, this is the yes, wonderful sir. thing. Everybody can talk. Yes, sir. 
it is possible yes sir when is it possible sir when mg and n sir both are pulling in excellent when mg and n both are pulling, pulling. yes sir. isn't it yes. Yes. so this is quite a possibility okay this is quite a possibility yes sir isn't it so yes. mg and n yes. and both are pulling here then and you have removed yeah okay you have removed yeah no what is there only these two forces are here yes so it can stand there is a yes. possibility it will stand yes sir there is a possibility it will stand see now you can also experiment and see with only one leg you can stand like this yes okay you can stand so here yes. you see your mg and n are collinear yes. in fact everywhere it is collinear that is why i am standing yes. see now my mg and n of course now my feet are apart so there are two ends and one mg yes. so if you take the moment about any point i will be in stable position what in you able hodi ala yena aagta yes yena ula good okay so see now if you take uh, a human human body okay so his feet are like this so his mg is down and there are two nodes n1 and n2 right and now n1 plus n2 n1 plus n2 are in upper direction this is equal to mg mg so this is fine this is done mg so this is fine it is this now if you take the moment about this point then mg will make it to go like this and n will make it to go like this yes and both these are equal and opposite i am still yes sir. understood all of you yes, ha huh. yes. so that is a common thing okay ha huh. now if i want to stand with only one leg yes sir if i want to stand with only one leg okay so supposing i remove this leg so can i stand i cannot stand yes but i have to tilt yes sir if i tilt then i can stand Yes, sir. I suppose all of you understood. So I should tilt. I should tilt. Okay. So my leg is here. My mg is here. Mg is acting down. Leg is here. So n is acting down. Okay. Then I can stand with only one leg. Fine, students. So you see, in our yes, practical yes. world also, you know, yes. we will get all these things. Ha! Huh. But this condition is very critical because. Any slim small force this side or this side can propagate. Ah, yes. So this is what condition is that you know it is critical. Yes. Okay, it is very very critical, right? Ha. Huh. So you see here there is something called a stable equilibrium, unstable equilibrium, yes. neutral equilibrium. Yes. Right? Ha. Huh. So stable equilibrium means formerly it was in one equilibrium position. you disturb that equilibrium position how do you disturb by external disturbing forces right. uh, on the removal of external disturbing forces it again tends to attain its original equilibrium position then we say it is stable equilibrium ha uh, unstable means if you remove the external disturbing force then the body doesn't have a tendency to return to its original equilibrium position yes sir neutral means you know you remove the disturbing forces it will go and become it will attain equilibrium in one more position one more position yes that is not neutral equilibrium okay now there is the case of critical equilibrium that is you know it is it's just critical if you uh, see for this man if you apply little force here he will topple this side and if you apply force this side he will topple this side <laughs> this also comes in the category of unstable equilibrium okay friends ha huh. so therefore now you see you go on applying force at a particular point you know when this is equal to this then it is still you know it, it is not able to topple right yes. huh. now any force that you apply this side or this side it will topple that side or this side okay okay understood yes yes so now you should see all these things you know in the real world in the real world also you should see all this hmm? so therefore you see hmm? when i think i have already told you hmm? so you have a truck hmm? so you have loaded this uh, 
a, a truck, you know, uh, there is a truck and then, you know, you have loaded some uh, weight on the truck. This is the back side of the truck I am showing you. Okay, so the wheels of the truck are here. The truck is moving forward. I am showing into position of the truck. Yeah. Okay, so here you see Mg is acting down of the truck and the two normals are acting down. So it is in an equilibrium position. Ha, now you, you know banking of road. Banking of road is you remember friends? Yes, long, yes, long ago. Once upon a time. Banking of road. So in the banking of road now, we have bank of the road at theta. theta yes. So that you know yes. uh, you will be able to handle friction, etc. Now our truck will be like this. The wheels of the truck will be like this. Yes. Okay. Uh, now our weight is like this. Okay. Uh, uh, now Will this weight topple down or no? Will see truck has now become like this. Will it topple? Will the truck topple? Yes, it will topple. Why? Sir, the entrance mass that lies outside the base of it. Are you sure? From diagram. So, so now, if you, if you, you should have told me like this. Sir, draw the weight vector. Draw the weight vector. Yes, sir. Yes. You should have told me, sir, draw the weight vector. See, we, it's good to assume things, sir. But if, uh, see, science is all about telling maximum truth. So try to use words and, you know, methods to bring out the maximum truth. Yes, sir. So you tell me, sir, draw the weight vector. Huh? So if I draw the weight vector, if I draw the weight vector, Okay, wait, wait, sir. Then what happens? Now we will not. Will it double? Will it double? Yes, it doubles. You draw all the vectors. Yes, sir. Normal. But there is one normal here yes, and there is another normal. Yes, sir. What about friction? So, there will be, see, now, if you say it is going to slide this way, then the frictional forces can be in this direction. So, if you take the, uh, if you take the, uh, torque, about the torque about this point, then all these forces, torque is not there, only this force will be there. This normal will be there. And therefore, yes. therefore it will topple. Therefore, it will top it. Right? Huh. So, okay. Huh. On the other hand, on the other, see, there, therefore, you see, drawing the vector here is extremely important. On the other hand, if the uh, if the weight vector is passing like this, then you have one normal here, another normal here, okay? And of course, the friction will be there. Now, you see, this force uh, will make it to rotate like this. And this force will also make it rotate like this, right? About this, about which point? About this, sir, about this point, this will rotate. About this yes, point, sir. this will make it to rotate like this. And what about this? But this one will try to rotate it, ulta. And therefore, it may not drop. It may not drop. Understood? So, you have to see, you know, conditions of toppling and all. Therefore, the banking of road problem, I have already told you. See, I mean, I have already showed you this picture and told you when we discuss equilibrium, we will discuss this. So, now that uh, banking of road can be extended and they can say, I we have loaded a truck and to what height can the truck be loaded, etc, etc. Huh. So, those such problems will arise. But what is important is you take the data and you construct the schematic diagram, draw the vectors yes, yes. and then with the given data you should be able to see that summation tau is equal to 0. Summation tau i is equal to 0. Okay? And summation yes. fi is equal to 0. Yes. <laughs> but remember, you, you should also take into consideration other forces also, yes. like frictional forces. Okay? So, if the truck is moving at certain speed, okay, then the 
uh, centripetal acceleration will be in this direction. Okay, that's fine. But the frictional force will be in this direction. Remember this. Frictional force will be. See, only if the truck is not moving, it is at rest, then the frictional force will be in this direction. Yes. So, write all the forces, write the schematic diagram properly, and with a cool mind analyze, you will be able to answer these questions. Yes. Okay? So, one doubt. Huh. Sir, in the second case, like, hmm. uh, here, uh, will it, uh, like, we said it may talk about, sir, like, hmm. uh, is, it, is it possible for the second other force to adjust itself? That yeah, you, that is always there, man. That, that's always, it will get adjusted. So it will always adjust such that it will not officer. No, 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 I said, I said, I said, I said, that is not the way. See, the normal, see, what is the normal force? You remember? Contact force. Yes, the yes, normal, yes, normal yes. component of the contact force. Yes, uh, see, the contact force will adjust itself, okay, such that, you know, it is, what, it will try to keep the, uh, uh, the body in a state of equilibrium. Will equilibrium also include a rotation between them? Yes, correct. That is what. So equilibrium whenever I am saying now, you should take both that both the both the things into consideration. Yes, yes. Okay, it is self-adjusting node. If it is it is self-adjusting node. Okay. <coughs> it is self-adjusting node. But the the fact of the matter is it will it will always try to adjust this normal this component. Yes, sir. That component. Okay? Which component? That is, you see, now you have you have this Mg again here. Then Yang will uh, the supposing you are pulling this body with C. Now you go back to the fundamentals. You go back to the fundamentals. Okay. So Mg is acting down. Okay. Then you have the normal acting down. Yan one is down. Now you if you apply force F here. If you apply force F here, so depending upon this value of force, this n will change because this frictional force will also start appearing because of this. You understand? Yes. So if this F is increasing or decreasing, then this F is decreasing or increasing, and this n is increasing or decreasing. So it all depends upon this value. Yes. Okay, that is how you see we say that the contact force is self adjusting. Contact force is the vectorial addition of this one. Yes. That will keep adjusting. Till yes. it can adjust. Yes. And that is the limiting friction. Till yes. F is equal to mu s into k. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that is how all these things are interconnected. Yes, sir. So, in our second case for the truck, sir. Like uh, now, it is possible for the uh, truck to not topple, sir. So the normal force will always adjust so that it will not topple. No, no, no. How? Then that that means it is uh, infinite. It is not like that. It is not like that. See, for a given condition, you will get n one and n two. You will get n one and n two. Understand? You will get n one and n two. So it may or may not topple. Huh, may or may not topple. Ah, okay, sir. May or may not. Okay. Sir, if there is a limit to how much uh, normal reaction can adjust, sir, what is that limit, sir? That is this limit, man. Mu s into n is the limit. Friction is the limit, not yet, not this. Hey, you remember those classes, sir? Previous classes, sir. Yes, this sir. is the contact force. This contact force goes on adjusting. Contact force is adjusting means what? The frictional force is adjusting. And the normal component of this, see, see, horizontal component of this is the frictional force. And this will try to keep on increasing to be, be equal to this. That is what happens. And the normal component of this is L. And this will be equal to Mg. That's it. Okay. The normal is not break. The normal is break up. It's very momentary. As soon as it acts up to the rise. See, that's what man. See, if you take a numerical problem, you will get that thing correctly. That's what I said. Okay. Take the data and on what is based on that, you will, you will analyze it. Okay. Based on the data, we will analyze it. Okay. Okay.